Hey everybody and welcome to another episode of SCG Reviews. My name is Will Jones and today we're going to be dealing with Pocket Imperial. Pocket Imperium is a competitive, variable board, space-based exploration and strategy game for two to four players. I really like it when I can make the genres really long and detailed like that. In Pocket Imperium, every player represents a space-faring empire, going throughout the galaxy, claiming planets, building more ships, and trying to establish dominion over the entire universe. You know, the usual. In this particular universe, everything looks and plays pretty generically. All the planets are really simple, all the ships are basically the same. Every space-faring empire is identical and symmetrical. You set up a variable grid of several sectors of space, each consisting of seven hexes that may or may not contain a planet. Players start the game by drafting systems and placing ships on it, and from that home base, they expand throughout the universe. Now this is what's called a 4X game, which means expand, explore, exterminate, exploit. And true to the genre, each action you take fits into one of those categories. The way that action order is determined is actually really interesting. Each game round, every player will have one expand, one explore, and one exterminate action to take and they choose what order they're going to take those actions in simultaneously and secretly. Then after the secret order is set, actions are revealed and performed one at a time. There's also an extra complicating factor in that players who take the same action at the same time actually get in each other's way and make each of their actions less effective. That motivation to outguess the order in which you and your opponents are going to do things becomes the main competitive mechanic in this game. A consistent design concern in any 4X game is how do you make sure that just doing things faster is not blanket better, and this is a fairly shrewd way of working with that. This is one of those games that's incredibly simple and easy to learn, but surprisingly deep in its strategic implications. You can pick up Pocket Imperium and know the rules cold in three to five minutes, but you're going to find that every time you play, your understanding of the strategy deepens more and more. And in that way, it's got a lot of longevity and a really broad-based appeal. The problem is that while you really enjoy playing it while you're playing it, as soon as you put the game away, you're going to completely forget about it. There are a lot of games out there where a week or a month or a year after you finish playing it, you'll reminisce with your friends and go, oh, do you remember that one time when? Pocket Imperium is not that game. It's just kind of flat. It's abstract without being really abstract. You never feel like you're actually owning any of these planets or ships, and so you don't get any sort of emotional investment in it. I almost feel like this is one of those games that's more at home in a corporate strategic planning retreat than it is just in a game night amongst friends. It's quick, it's easy, it's cheap, it teaches you a lot about who you are as a strategic thinker, but I wouldn't go so far as to call it fun. And that is Pocket Imperium. Thanks so much for watching. Really hope you found this review useful. Go ahead and click below to like and subscribe to us for more great videos from Stone Circle Games. And until then, have fun around the table. Oh.